guys, welcome back to The In-Between, our world of imagination where we can go anywhere and see anything as we study God's true word to us. I am so excited to be starting this new series with you, but I have no idea where Jeff is. He said he would meet me here. Oh, this is so awkward. I'll, I'll text him real quick. Okay. Jeff, where are you? You said you would meet me in the in-between. I am in the in-between? What? What? Just meet me on the battlefield? Claire. What in the world, Jeff? What's up? Hey, it's good to see you. What? What? Where are we? What are you doing? Why did you want me to meet you here? Well, I, I kind of thought it'd be a little bit obvious. I'm in my armor and I'm preparing for battle. Did you tell the kids what we're doing? Well, I was going to, but I didn't get that far. Uh, okay, well, then allow me. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome, everyone, to our series on the armor of God. We're going to be studying the armor that God has given us to defeat the forces of evil. Together, we're going to learn about the various pieces of armor and what they're used for. That's right. We are, but I didn't realize that you were going to be in literal armor. Where, where did you even get this? Oh, this? Well, I ordered mine from Amazon. Why aren't you in your armor? Well, I am. Y you know what? We'll get there. Okay. Um, I'm getting ahead of myself. So can we go somewhere else in the in-between that's not this like creepy dark valley? It's... It's spooky, Jeff. I don't like it. I think we can make that happen. Is this any better, Claire? Ooh, yes, okay. much better. Thank you. Um, so guys, Jeff is right. We are gonna study the armor of God. Maybe some of you have already heard of it. The armor are the tools that God has given us to fight the forces of evil in the spiritual realm. Wow, forces of evil in the spiritual realm sounds pretty creepy. And you might be tempted to ignore it or think that it's made up. But the Bible tells us that there is a spiritual realm, a very real place that is part of our world, but isn't something that we can see with our eyes. But just because we can't see it, doesn't mean it's not there. We learn a lot about it from the Apostle Paul in the letter he wrote to other believers, followers of Jesus living in Ephesus. That's right, Claire. Paul wanted to remind them and us to prepare our hearts and our minds and be ready because we have a very real enemy who's trying to deceive us, to lie to us, and to turn our hearts away from Jesus. And that enemy is Satan. Satan wants to distract us. Guys, he wants to lead us away from Jesus. He wants us to sin so that we won't want to follow Jesus and live the life that God has designed for us to live. In the book of Ephesians, Paul warns us about this and tells us in chapter 6, verses 10 through 13. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his great power. Wear the full armor of God. Wear God's armor so that you can fight against the devil's evil tricks. Our fight is not against people on earth. We are fighting against the rulers and authorities and the powers of the world's darkness. We are fighting against the spiritual powers of evil in the heavenly world. And that's why you need to get God's full armor. Then on the day of evil, you will be able to stand strong. And when you finish the whole fight, you will still be standing. Paul lays out pretty clearly that there's an invisible war going on. He said, we're fighting the spiritual powers of evil in the heavenly world. So we better suit up. But what exactly are the pieces uh, in the armor of God? Oh, that reminds me. I had a couple of professors when I was in seminary and they were so wise and I can always go to them when I needed help understanding the Bible. I kind of wish we could ask them about this. I think they have some great insight. Well, let's ask them. Well, yeah, but Claire, they went back to Cambridge in England, and I don't think we can get in touch with them now. I mean, they're so far away. Jeff, look where we are. This is the in-between. Remember, we can go anywhere, even Cambridge. Let's go ask the experts. <laughs> Goodness! Holy Roger! Is that you, Joffrey? Oh, you gave me such a fright! 
it? I say, don't just pop into the library out of thin air, my boy. At least send a telegram to let us know you're coming. Hello, professors. Claire, these are professors Zelly Whistle and Barry Bimble. They're two of my favorite teachers in seminary. Those are their real names? Yes, be polite, please. Yes, what are we wearing? Well, I think that they're just you know, school uniforms, okay? Well, yeah. Hello, it is a pleasure to meet you. So sorry to just pop in unexpected. We're teaching a unit on the armor of God and thought that you could help us out. Oh, no need to apologize, son, no need at all. We're always happy to help a fellow Bible scholar. Barry Bimble is quite right, Joffrey. We would be delighted to help. <clears throat> Armor of God, you say, yes? So oh, very, very useful topic indeed. How can we be of assistance? Well, we thought you could help us go over the various pieces of the Armor of God for the kids. Oh, kids? Uh, well, yeah, this is a YouTube channel. The kids are out there watching. Uh, what? What is? What did you call it? A, you, a YouTube? Dude. Dude. Okay, well, YouTube. It's a. Uh, it's a video sharing service where users can watch and like and share, comment and upload. You know, you know what? This might be a better well, topic for enough. another day. Now, well, to answer your question, the armor of God consists of seven vital pieces. Yes, yeah, quite right. Number one is the belt of truth. Number two, the breastplate of righteousness. Uh, three, the shoes of peace. Number four, the shield of faith. And number five, the helmet of salvation. And number six, the sword of the spirit. Now, you might be wondering, where do I get this armor. That's just it, you see. If you're a follower of Jesus, you already have it. That's quite right. The Bible tells us that if we believe in Jesus and trust in him as our Savior and King, the blessings he's promised us are rich and glorious. Those blessings include the armor of God. You don't need to go find the armor somewhere. It's yours. You simply need the eyes of your heart should be opened. Uh, well, how do we open the eyes of our hearts? Well, by using the seventh and most important piece of armor of all, prayer. That's quite right, Professor, quite right. See, after the Apostle Paul told believers to put on the armor of God, he gave them one final instruction. He said this, pray in the spirit at all times. Pray with all kinds of prayers and ask for everything that you need. To do this, you must always be ready. Never give up. Always pray for all God's people. It is through prayer, talking to God, that we are able to access the armor because we remind ourselves of the truth of who we are in Jesus. You see, when Jesus died to save us from our sins and rose from the dead, he defeated Satan and the forces of darkness once and for all. And we will still battle those forces of evil until Jesus returns and restores all things. But the ultimate war has already been that's really encouraging news, Professor Barry Bimble. Thank you so much for your help. Well, we're so delighted and happy to help any time. Oh, my. Ooh. Jolly Roger. <laughs> wow. Claire, it was so good to see those professors. Weren't they so cool? Cool? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I'd call them Cool, but they were wise and they certainly knew a lot about the armor of God. So I'm glad that we asked them for help. We should ask them for help more yeah, often. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Okay. Hey, we're going to break down each piece of the armor in our upcoming episodes. But one thing that's important for us to remember is that God is sovereign. That means that he is in control of all things, including the battles taking place in the heavenly or spiritual world. He's given us this armor to fight the battles that will come our way. We have these specific specific pieces to fight against the enemy and his schemes. Satan is called the father of lies. That means that you can be sure he's going to try to lead you away from Jesus by lying to you, by tricking you and twisting the truth. But we'll be ready because we'll have the armor of God and we'll know how to use it. The armor God has given us are weapons or tools for a specific use. And we're going to learn how to use them correctly in the coming episodes. Yeah, 
we want the right tool for the right use. But what happens if you have the right tool but use it the wrong way? Let's find out. Has this ever happened to you? You're hungry, so you go looking for a snack. You find an apple, but now what? Are you just going to bite into it? No way! You need to cut it. But what should you use? There are just too many options. Well, not anymore. With the new App Option Eliminator 3000, eliminating options has never been easier. Simply download the app and let your phone do the thinking for you. Looks like the Option Eliminator 3000 has selected the perfect tool for the job. Now, Jeff can enjoy his apple. Mm -mm. Enjoying a midday snack has never been easier. Thanks, Option Eliminator 3000. You stayed in this armor the entire episode, but you don't have to. Are you just really into historical costumes? Oh yeah, Claire, absolutely. I mean, I'm gonna wear this as many times as I can. Are you kidding me? You realize that we're talking about spiritual armor for a spiritual battle though, right? Sure, sure, but where else am I going to get to wear a Roman soldier costume, right? I, I like it. Okay, look, thanks for being with us today, guys. We'll see you next time. Well, it looks like a berry bimble. It says here, if we want our viewers to continue to uh, uh, receive videos from us, we should uh, tell them to like by giving it a thumbs up. And I to subscribe? Thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. They uh, should subscribe if they like. Thumbs the up and subscribe. Uh, now, what about this this little bell icon? I don't have a bell with me. Do they have bells? Does the bell come with the computer? Oh, maybe the bell is inside the computer. If they ring the bell inside the computer, they know when we have a new video. So, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Brilliant! Oh, gorgeous! Oh, cheerio! <laughs> <I know. laughs>